it going? I'm gonna uh, do a guitar tutorial on uh, Linesniff's uh, Rift Works and Rift Tracker. The first thing you want to do is go to where it says uh, drummer for this particular drummer. I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna pick a habanero bridge. I'm gonna change my tempo to uh, 200. Right here it says Tempo BPM. Then I'm going to click back on Layers. Uh, this is the beat it's giving me. Alright, I've got my gearbox opened up. Uh, this is uh, a tone that I made. And as soon as I open up gearbox, it automatically runs it in my riff works. So, I've got my trusty axe. It's RG770 DX 1991. I'm gonna press record and just make up a riff real quick. Alright, as you can hear, I messed up, so I'm gonna delete these in this layer and I'm going to start again alright so I've got the first little 8 bar section done and this is what it sounds like Alright, if I want to record something over that, all I have to do is hit record. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this riff, riff 1, into the timeline. Then I'm going to click here and I'm going to go to create. That's going to make a whole new riff, but it's still going to carry that same drum beat. Alright, right here, it says lead in. I don't want to lead in on metronome. I want to lead in on that first riff that I made. So I'm going to click riff 1. And now when I record, it's going to play riff 1, but I'm going to be recording on riff 2. So it makes like a seamless integration. Here we go. <laughs> two right here and I'm gonna play and this is what we just did <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna drag that up in the timeline right after the intro which was riff one and this is riff two I want to add a solo on top of riff two so I make sure I'm clicked on riff two and I hit record <laughs> did that time is I recorded two solos on top of each other and it sounds like this all right and I want something to come after this which I think the intro sounded like something that would come after it. So I'm going to right click on intro and go to duplicate. Now I'm going to throw that up in the timeline. Drag it up in the timeline. And it's going to sound like this is the whole thing. <laughs> I 
don't sound good. <laughs> so we're going to drag that back out. I'm going to duplicate Riff 2 because I think it needs one more of that. So I go duplicate Riff. I drag it in. And now I can tweak the solos. <laughs> I took out the second solo to clean it up and make it sound different than Riff 2, but this is Riff 2 1, and all I have to do is hit mute here. And that mutes that solo. <laughs> So that's basically it. You find some drums, you set your beats per minute. I always use where it says length bars, I always use eight. It seems to be the ideal bars for my style. But uh, you just play around with it. You want to intro, you know, your verses and choruses, but it's all the same. And you could pick different drummers each time. You just go to drummer and you can change it here and pick any of the drummers that you have. Just find the one that sounds best for that piece. And uh, let's go back to layers. Uh, you just It's going to keep that 200 beats per minute. It's locked in. So all your drums are going to sound, you know, they're going to be in time no matter what because that's what you started with. So, And uh, like if I wanted to make an ending, I'd pick, let's see, uh, I'd go to drummer heads, uh, habanero groove or something and then I'd pick ending and the ending, here's just a sample of what the drums would sound like I'm gonna make a, a whole new just so you can hear it it's, that's the ending, so I would just go you notice how it's gonna do it again? That's because it was in the eight bars, so that doesn't sound right. So let's put it on uh, four bars, or even two bars, just for the ending, and see what it sounds like. See how quick that went? So now let's try it. Fits a lot better. So just play around with it, and don't be scared. And uh, it's just... If anything, it's an easy way to record your ideas, you know, fastly without having to go through this Pro Tools stuff that's complicated. You know, you can use this to put your ideas down, go back and refine it later, you know. That's it.